Welcome back. My name is William Santiago. Um, I have another um, webinar. Uh, this one is specifically on uh, Moon Bitcoin uh, or Moon Wallet, uh, Bitcoin Lightning Wallet. It's an introduction to this wallet to uh, explain the usage of the wallet and the importance of, of using the wallet uh, for my viewers. So uh, let's get started. The what we will be talking today is, again, uh, what is the Moon Bitcoin Lightning mobile wa app wallet? What is it all, all about? Um, uh, and again, we're going to touch up on reasons for using the Bitcoin Lightning wallet. And at the end, we're going to have a demonstration explaining how to use this, this, this new application, this new wallet. Um, this is a picture of how the wallet would look at the very end and how we're going to look at it. Um, what is this wallet? It's an open source mobile app uh, that allows users to send and receive instantaneous Bitcoin payments. Uh, two, th two key words here that to, to understand what the definition is. Open source meaning that the, the code itself can be, can be looked at by, by developers. In other words, the, whole, the public is, is able to look at the open source, uh, the code of the software, so you know exactly how this application is behaving. Extremely important. Um, for example, if you try to get a, an application from Microsoft or from IBM, uh, you never get access to the open source data or the open source code because that's proprietary to the company. So just to make that, that distinction. Um, instantaneous Bitcoin payments, again, it's using the Lightning Network and we'll talk a little bit about what the Lightning Network is all about. The difference between the Lightning and Bitcoin in, in terms of if there is a difference or not. Um, this mobile app is very simple. It uses your mobile device to pay friends and merchants. So you can start using, using it to pay and send and receive payments to friends or send and receive payments to merchants. It's fast because it takes seconds to, uh, to send and receive these Bitcoin payments. Um, and in some cases you have even fractions of a second that it happens, uh, how that transaction gets done. It's also extremely safe. It's a non-custodial uh, two of two multi-sig wallet with, with, with a special focus on security and ease. What this basically means, non-custodial meaning that the company Moon or another entity or a bank out there doesn't have custodial or doesn't have control over that, the funds that are in that wallet. Uh, you, the user, will have. That's what non-custodial means. Uh, multi-sig means multi-signature, meaning you need to have two signatures to sign and we'll explain how that uh, that works in, in, in terms of the, of the wallet itself. Uh, but the point here is that your Bitcoins are always uh, yours. In other words, your funds are always yours. The reason for using the Lightning, uh, why would we want to use the Lightning, uh, a Lightning wallet or any wallet out there, because there's many of them. Um, first of all, it's a lower transaction fees. Uh, Bitcoin usually takes um, 10 minutes, uh, or sorry, there's some fees associated with, with, with transactions uh, on the Bitcoin main network. Uh, so Lightning was, was augmented on top of Bitcoin to address this. And when they do this, they're actually uh, creating a, a faster rail in which payments get done instantaneously. Um, and you pay as low as one Satoshi. In other words, uh, Satoshi is the lowest denomination of the Bitcoin network. Uh, meaning that, um, so th like like in the in the fiat currencies, most fiat currencies out there, including the, do the U.S. dollar and the guilder, uh, Antillian guilder or the Mexic Mexican peso, have up to 99 cents per uh, per one peso or one dollar uh, or one guilder. Uh, so you go up to 99 cents. That's the lowest, and it's it's the, the reason is a physical limitation. But in terms of math and on the internet, that limitation goes away. So Bitcoin was designed with eight decimal points, which means that you can have a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a cent uh, to be denominated. Uh, so that lowest denomination, which is eight decimal points, is what they call a Satoshi, one Satoshi. Um, you also have faster transaction speeds. And uh, just to explain a little bit about transaction f the speeds is that there's no need for a confirmation from the main uh, uh, Bitcoin chain. Now, Bitcoin and Lightning are like, uh, their Lightning is on top of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the settlement layer. Uh, this, this is the final settlement. This is the final argument in terms of transactions. Um, these transactions uh, to be settled, 
it take it take at least one confirmation and sometimes even more and some of the and these confirmations uh, by by design are 10 minutes on average um, in some cases you have transactions that get done uh, within within one hour or sometimes or depending on the uh, on how many transactions are trying to get into the into the block calling the blockchain that's why we have different blocks uh, but I didn't want to go I don't want to go too deep into that complexity but the, the idea here is that in the main uh, chain uh, for for lightning specifically you don't have to go to the main chain in other words you don't have to settle on the main chain at that's those 10 minutes so the best analogy I have for this is if you go to a bar uh, um, and you uh, want to open a tab at the bar uh, so you can start drinking and not have to pay for every drink you go to the bartender and say, can you, can you open up a tab? That opening of the tab is what we call a confirmation on the blockchain. So opening the tab basically requires the bartender to stop what he's doing to grab that credit card from you and put it aside and maybe add, uh, open up a, a balance on the, on the, my, let's say on the, the, the point of sale, for example, to say up to $100 and you both agree up to $100 that I can be spending uh, or ordering drinks basically. So you continue order, uh, ordering these drinks and the bar then that keeps making the drinks for you, but you never go back to the, to, to, the, to the credit card or you never go back to the debit card to charge each drink. You just continue doing it. And at the very end uh, of the day, for example, or the night, both you and the bartender are keeping tabs of how many drinks you've been, you've been served, basically. Bartender does it on his end and you do it on your, on your end. So at the very end, hopefully both of you will have agreement on the the amount th th that is that needs to be settled because both of you were tracking and you know they were the same drinks right so that's a whole a different transaction that another requires another 10 minutes for you to pay uh, the tab basically or settle the tab that same thing bitcoin you need 10 minutes to settle that transaction so lightning is that bartender and you that relationship you have in which you're keeping tabs that's what lightning is all about so obviously, if you do that at that level, you're going to have very high, high transaction uh, speeds. Now, once you, now that we understand that, the next uh, part that we want to look at specifically for this specific uh, wallet, the Moon wallet that we're talking about, is Moon has what they call an emergency kit. Uh, with this emergency kit, it allow, yeah, allows you to export uh, this kit uh, that contains uh, private keys and output uh, descriptors. What basically what that means is that it creates a PDF document with the information and instructions in that paper needed to find and spend your 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 funds uh, independently. So this emergency kit is basically a manual for the user to be able to restore their their funds if they lose their phone or if they lose uh, their computer or whatever happens they have a backup uh, procedure in place. Now these private keys are securely encrypted with a what they call a recovery code. So uh, because you're using a recovery code, which is you, you're probably gonna, you're gonna do is write it down on a piece of paper, uh, this recovery code uh, encrypts the private keys, which means that these private keys can now uh, be safely stored in, on the cloud, for example. You can put them on Google Drive, you can put them on Microsoft Drive because they're encrypted and if somebody gets control of those, uh, of those files or that data, they won't be able to understand what's in it. Now, the, what this uh, emergency creates, or this situation creates, is the ability to com com be able to uh, have a combining of your emergency kit and the recovery code basically gives you an output, which is that the user has total undisputed control over their funds or their Bitcoins. Uh, so that's what this, uh, but that's the goal that this emergency kit is trying to provide. Um, the recovery and backup, the process that it takes, you know, basically makes you choose the right recovery. So that's that's when you're actually creating the creating the the first wallet uh, for the first time on Moon. When, once you download the app, and we'll go through those steps, is you have to create a backup to, to safely access your wallet. In uh, if you change your phone, for example, that's the whole objective of this recovery backup. So you have uh, you have two options. You can you can. It could be and or, so it could be this option number one, or it could be option number two. Option number one is a cold, what they call a cold recovery code. Uh, it uses a randomly generated code written on paper. So this is the code that I was talking about. You pick that option and you actually write these, 
these code word on a piece of paper and that helps you recover uh, your funds if your phone is ever uh, lost or, or destroyed or uh, the second option that you can or you know choose to have is a multi-factor authentication use your email password and recovery code so what this means it is that you're you're now requiring an email to be sent to your email that you control that you have uh, possession of um, to authorize and authenticate the, that 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 code is is corrected to authorize this code recovery process so it's, it's like a double check basically uh, but the goal of the recovery backup is that your funds can only be spent by two keys, which Moon, in this case, the company that makes this wallet, uh, doesn't hold. They only hold one key. Uh, so um, by having this, this, uh, this multi-sig agreement between you and the manufacturer, it, it uh, allows, and these two keys are always in control by the you, the user, you will never lo lose funds, but the third party in this case this boom wallet will help you recover these these funds as well make it easier for you to recover the funds uh, but it's not necessary to have moon involved in any way shape or form to spend the fund because you have a previous emergency kit that you and the recovery codes so some assumptions again like I've done in the p previous uh, video uh, you have uh, the assumptions that you've never used Bitcoin before uh, you have to have an Android or an iOS mobile phone um, at your disposal. You can, most people have either an Android or an iOS. Um, and you're also going to have access to uh, mobile data or Wi-Fi. In other words, internet connectivity. So let's go ahead and start the demo. I'm going to bring my, uh, my phone up here so we can start seeing it. Okay. And we're going to start with the uh, basic steps. Uh, the first step we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, and download the Moon wallet application. So we download Moon. Uh, different ways you can do it, but the best best way to do it is just go to the go to their website moon.com. Um, you can also go to the um, uh, either the iOS app store or the uh, Google store or Google Google apps uh, store, Play Store, and get download the the moon wallet once you have um, downloaded the wallet you want to the first step is you want to create a, a brand new wallet so here we have uh, on my phone here we have the um, you have uh, the moon wallet already installed so it's just a basic uh, uh, di different tab you have the wallet tab you have security tab which gives you these steps about the creating the emergency kit and some settings that we're going to be do looking at uh, but the first thing we want to do is go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit the app. I'm going to basically uh, remove the app. Or in, other, in other words, I'm going to I'm going to destroy the data that's in the app. Uh, in other words, simulating that I lost my my phone. So I'm going to clear the cache, clear the storage, and my phone is deleted and gone. So now we go ahead and open the 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 wallet. Uh, and when I, and it gives you two options. It, if you already have a wallet, which we'll go through those steps as well, you can choose that. Or if you want to create a new wallet, you can also do the same. So we're going to create a new wallet. So the first thing that it does after you create a new wallet is to create a, a new pin. So we're going to go ahead and go, sorry, go back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's my wallet. So let's go. And it literally starts creating the, the wallet. The wallet gets created. But you want to make sure that you back up your wallet because at this point, if you receive funds, those funds are not protected if you lose your, your phone. So that's why that screen that says back up your wallet, create, um, create a backup uh, to never lose, never lose access to the, your wallet is there. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on that um, and it comes back and says, gives you certain steps. So the first step is to back up your wallet, create a recovery method in, uh, in, in case you change your phone or reinstall. So we're going to take that first step. That's actually the email and password recovery. So you pick that and it says uh, back up your wallet. 
you could choose at this point to uh, using the email you could choose to say I don't want to use my email and just ignore that and start so I have recovered my email so I'm not going to do this step but you in your case you're going to go to uh, I don't want to use my email or sorry I want to use my email uh, and um, go ahead and, and, and put your emails but in my case I'm just going to say no I'm not going to use this feature in other words ba it, it basically tells me on the top of uh, the first step it was basically skipped I skipped that part remember that you can choose one or the other so in the second uh, part um, you want to create an alternate backup this is a let's say the other the other uh, side of the token what 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 you would be a second 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 recovery backup is to write down these recovery codes on paper to recover your wallet so you click on that um, and basically it says back up your wallet uh, write down a code on paper and recover your wallet if you change your phone or reinstall them and you start that and it gives you these recovery codes so basically what you want to do is go ahead and write these recovery codes down um, and what happens once you write down the recovery codes um, you, so in other words you back them up one of the things you have to do is confirm the backup recovery so when you do continue you will see the recovery codes uh, at that moment there um, and you can just type it in and it's just double check that you actually wrote the the recovery codes correctly uh, and then once you have done that so I'm gonna go back because I'm not gonna do that uh, abort you can you can continue to create what they call the emergency kit and what that does it just creates the ability to download or email or, or, or just uh, save uh, a PDF that has all the instructions needed to recover your um, your backup. Another part that it has is the ability to um, to change your or uh, what they call the uh, choose the fiat currencies. And in that, ca that case, you can choose settings. Uh, and under settings, you can go up to Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin uh, unit. I normally choose the SAT because it's a lot easier to to read. Uh, but you have basically two BTC or SAT because it's the same Bitcoin. It's just BTC is denominated in, in it, it with using the the like one one or one point one or point zero 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 five. So it's more difficult to understand. When you do SATs, um, you will have the ability to see uh, numbers and not denominated in point something. Um, so one, two, three satoshis, four satoshis, one thousand satoshis, one million satoshis doesn't mean you have one million bitcoins. It just says well, you have one million satoshis. Uh, so what happens is that the, another part that you have here is uh, main currency. Uh, in main currencies, you can pick different currencies. I've picked the uh, these two, the euro and the uh, the U.S. dollar. So I have the Netherlands and Tills Gilder. So I pick that one. Um, and other things, ba basic stuff you can do in settings. But if you go back to wallet, uh, you have denominations. On, in this case, I have zero SAT on the screen and zero uh, denominated in guilders. Uh, I can I can receive. Uh, when you click on receive, it'll show you a QR code. Um, this is basically uh, the ability to to accept uh, bitcoins. Uh, and uh, as you can see on the top, you get Bitcoin bar or Bitcoin tab, and then you have the lightning tab. And as you switch back and forth, that QR code will change. Uh, and uh, under the QR code, you actually have the address. It's a very long string. Um, in terms of Bitcoin, it starts with a BC1Q, which is a Bitcoin address. And in case of lightning, it has, starts with LN, LNBC, which is uh, a lightning um, enabled address. Uh, again, keep in mind that Bitcoin, if you do receive a Bitcoin address, there's fees involved and you got to wait 10 minutes for confirmation. So this is Bitcoin address. It's not for a cup of coffee or to buy something from the groceries. Lightning is what you want to do that for because it's, it's very low fees and it's very fast. You can share, copy also under each one. So in case of Bitcoin, you can go to address settings. You can add the amount, so you're going to pre. It's like preparing the the uh, the invoice. Uh, you can. It's more technical, but you can change the address type to SegWit to non-SegWit. But you don't have to do that. Just leave it as default. 
uh, if you click on lightning tab and you go to invoice settings you will also do the same thing you have the amount you're creating the invoice um, and then you also have an expiration date now you can't change that but that basically means that, that you have a certain amount of time that when you generate or somebody copies or you paste or, or, or give this invoice to someone it has an exp expiration date it's not there forever uh, so just keep, keep that in mind if you want to send uh, the sending is very very simple you can either copy and paste that that long string the application itself if you have if you have copied something from it's in the clipboard uh, your Android will keep that in memory also in, in iOS and Apple uh, and, and we'll display it here or you can paste it if you want if it hasn't remembered it you can paste it in here but if you see the top right it has all the little kind of like QR code symbols you click on that uh, it's going to ask you to enable the camera hey you want permission to enable it say yes go ahead because it's going to use the camera for this um, you can ask if I, while using the app yes while using the app and what happens is it shows that the, the QR code and you can see it uh, it's it's just moving around looking at the camera and that's where you actually just scan the the the, the QR code um, and that's basically it and that will allow you to populate the invoice in here and con continue to send how many um, sats you have depending obviously you have to have sats in your in your in your wallet um, so that's basically it um, I hope you enjoy this video um, it's a uh, it's a pleasure to make them so I uh, just subscribe downstairs and uh, I like these videos uh, it helps me out and uh, hopefully I'll be making another one uh, very very soon thank you